Shaquille O'Neal. I'm so lucky. Tonight, we'll see the Miami Heat playing against the Portland Trailblazers. For Portland, this is their first time facing off this season. Last year, they split the season series at a game apiece. And guys, this team getting some big help in the form of Freak. He has stepped up and been a big contributor over this recent stretch of games. Shaq, what's been the change for him? You know, he's playing under control, Ernie. He's not trying to do too much with each possession. You know, he's also being more aggressive, taking the initiative. You know, he's just going at people, the, the barbecue chicken theory, Ernie. Get out of my way, I'm going to eat you. Yeah, I mean, Freak might be one of my favorite players coming up, uh, Ernie. I mean, his teammates are trusting him more, giving him opportunities, trusting that the fact that he could score, and their success as a unit is also increased because of their trust in him. You know who Freak reminds me of? Who's that? Uh, me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And that wraps it up here. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next time. Nothing goes together like the Heat and Miami as we get ready for an interconference contest here at the American Airlines Arena. The road trip for the Blazers ends here as they leave for Portland right after the game. A great start to the season for them, notching three wins to tip it off. Yeah, and when you look at Portland, they've staggered along here early in the season. They're going to be in for a long year if they don't make some real quick progress. Well, good news, bad news here. I mean, the good news is they have time to make up the ground they've already lost. The bad news is they don't have enough talent to do it. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check it. You know, as we've said many times, anything can happen when you play out of comp. Now Lillard, following the three-point attempt by Freak, kicks it to McCollum, lets the free fly, shot is off. Now the Heat take it the other way. There are many free runs to the hoop they got. For Miami, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And then Wade slams it in. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost. Adams outside. Move the ball. Stick it to much. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throws. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he knocks down the first one. And so Adams nails both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic. Today's game, he said, is how they are able to handle Chris Bosh. He said often in games, Bosh is the X factor with his... Drive by Adams, and he gets the bucket. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. For Portland, McDang pulls it down. Adams against Lillard, 17-foot shot on the way. And once more, he gets it. Another bucket from Adams. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Lillard misses. The Heat with the lead. And here we go with Adams. Elbow shot is on the way. McCollum, no good. Uh -oh. Facts are things in the air. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Amari Stoudemire is checked in for Whiteside. And Winslow subbed in for Luol Dan. The Heat shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Free throw good, Adams. And what a tremendous game for Freak. He's already got 12 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. You know what, though, Clark? It wouldn't be a bad idea going forward to try to let him do a little more damage from beyond the arc. And so Adams nails both of them. We've got going on. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can quite grab hold of it. Like a slippery bar of soap there. <laughs> Somebody's got to take charge here. Here's Lillard following the basket by Freak. Good! And it's six points for C.J. McCollum. Like he talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definite. Oh! 
And Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this fellow. Well, Clark, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. Well, you know, Kevin, that's one he'll always take himself, and he should. I mean, you can't pass up that kind of opportunity or fun. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball after the Heat pick up two. Now that's terrific defense. Here's Adams. Hits the three-point bomb. Adams has got 20. Boy, has he put his foot on the second quarter for the Trailblazers. Here's Adams. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Adams has got the lead up to seven now for the Heat. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Adams. Rogic kicks to Adams. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. Adams has got five points now in the quarter. Trailblazers trail by three on three. Here's Adams. And again, Miami with the triple. Let's have a look at some league leaders from the last 10 games. Two of the highest scoring point guards in the NBA during that time. Freak number one. Damian Lillard is second. And this is a group of guys who have that uncanny knack to simply score and, and put points up while they find ways to get the rest of the team involved. Really the complete package. And to me, that's what makes them so special. I mean, just the start of it, notching a triple double for his effort in what was quite a display from him. Numbers like that are rare to see by any player in a game he'll always remember. All right, thanks so much, Doris. What a great report, and what a jaw-dropping performance that was, guys. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I mean, he's given himself a hard act to follow here tonight. You know what? But as good as he was, it's hard to think there won't be at least some sort of carryover effect, guys. I mean, he still has to be riding pretty high. And so Adams nails both of them. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Plumley with the screen. Lillard attacking. Lillard again missing. Most of the time, that shot will go down. Boy, the defenders have to make sure they tag. The shot from 20 feet away. Good as the jump shot falls. That's now 32 points for Freak. It goes up to the stripe. And it's Lillard again missing. The Heat leading by 12. And Adams kicks to Whiteside. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Wade passes to Adams. The basket good off the assist from Wade. Wade's got his third assist on the night. He has created some terrific right there. And that's really using the double team against the defense there and creating that pinpoint passing to attack. Adams' shot is good. That's his fifth. Adams has got six rebounds in the game. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Now, how did he manage? To Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Hi, Kevin. I'm here with Dwayne Wade. And Dwayne, what about the way the offense unfolded allowed you guys to get things going? Uh, we just gave each other some space. The court was open a little bit. Uh, I think Coach did a great job of making some adjustments. We was all being able to attack. Thank you for the time, sir. Guys, back to you. All right, Doris, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow here on 2K Sports. All right, guys, great first half. Home fans are loving it. Still want to go over a couple of things, though. You all get a huge pat on the back for the defense you're playing. Whatever approach they've used, we've stopped. Tremendous determination on D. But we've shot the ball well, I'll give us that. And it's because we've had great shot selection. We've made really good choices with the ball. And let me touch on tempo for a second. We're not out to use the whole shot clock, but I would like to see us get set up offensively. And that's all I wanted to go over with you. Let's go play a good half of basketball.
Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, created a lot of quality shots for himself in that first half, and he knew when to pass it up when the double team came. And that led to a very high points per shot number for him. For those of you that are into analytics, that stat really tells how efficient a player has been, and he's been very efficient so far. This game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and then finish. More active and more physical down low. That's what's really been the difference thus far out there for guys I mean he is an electrifying player no doubt yeah easy call yeah you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are three two first free throw is good that's also good so he hits both free throws and if you're just joining us, we played against Lillard. Takes the three. And count it. Three-pointer good on the shot from Adams. Adams has got 44. And with this break, why don't we check out the hottest shooting point guards over the last month? Freak number one. And he's been even more accurate with his shooting than he's been with his passing. Just a terrific percentage from the field. And, Greg, this isn't a power forward we're talking about. I mean, this is a point guard. He's knocking down shots from 20 feet like they were layups. Wade drives in. Here's Adams. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Adams right side. And it's Miami with another. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stand range in the third quarter so far. Here's Adams. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And that's really the change in our game. It's the overall athletic ability. I love those point guards that can throw it down. Well, you've talked about that. That's a dose of the modern NBA, Greg. That, that, that kind of aerial ability isn't limited now to just the front court anymore. That's exactly right. You know, I look at it this way, guys. It seems to me there are more high flyers at guard than anywhere else in the league these days. Here's Adams. Following the score the by ball. Damian Lillard. Stick it too much. The drive by Adams. It's Whiteside, top of the key. Wade passes to Adams. Fires it up. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Portland ball. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Look at the Heat. They've got the number one record in the conference. And because of it, each night out, their competition... Adams outside. Dishes it to Bosch. To the paint. And Adams with the slam. And guys, how fun is it watching this fella this just go like to work? Greg, it's not every point guard who can climb the ladder like he can. Really just trying to battle his team back into it. And Adams with the slam. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it... Lillard attacking. And that one comes up a bit short. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Alexander passes to Anthony. Here's McCollum. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got eight rebounds in this game. Wade outside. Takes a three. And here's McCollum for three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Barbosa kicks to Adams. He dishes it to Aslam. Back to Adams. And the serious dunk to finish it off. And, and folks, those are hops <laughs> you just don't see from that. The feed now to Winslow. Cops in the trade. Winslow's got 10 points here in the second half. Don't underestimate him. He can knock that down. Now here's McCollum. He's guarded closely. That three off the mark. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards. Back to Barbosa. 
from past the arc. The shot's good. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. Trailblazers have gone five. Kevin, he's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. With time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. To the inside, Stoudemire drops in the layup for two. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just and so this will mark the 15th win of the year for them. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off. with. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Adams. You have to love the way that he was closing out on defensive trips. He would always body up, and it's why he ended with so many boards. For Portland, they've gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Anthony, the pass to McCollum. It's hauled in by Adams. Stoudemire, the screen, and Adams kicks to Stoudemire. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Well, if it wasn't out of reach. Ullum. And it's Miami with the rebound. Stoudemire, the screen, to the inside. Pass to Barbosa. Team a big lift throughout the game. I thought there was great energy in the building. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Yeah, they were the superior team in every department, in every category to me, Kevin. I know their fans loved it and appreciated it. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke. Seems like tonight you were all over the place. A triple-double in the box score. Would you consider this one of your better games of the season thus far? <laughs> a really triple-double? Y'all don't even know that. I guess I would have to say it was one of the better ones I played in. Really, I'm just happy with how the team competed and that we got the win. Personal stats are secondary today, always. Congratulations, Kevin. You're going to deliver it. Take some chops. Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And now time to send it over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson for the post-game show. The 2K Sports post-game show. Kevin, much appreciated, and now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Freak. It was lights out shooting at its best from him in this game. 60 plus points is rarefied territory that few players ever see in the NBA, but we saw it here tonight. Truly jaw-dropping. When Freak puts it all together, it's no contest to who the best player on the court is. He was outstanding tonight. His feel and understanding of the game were on display. What can you say about the show he put on tonight? That was simply basketball greatness. You hardly get a player that gets that focus, that determined. He did the work of three players out there tonight and got the points to prove it. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon but not soon enough.